Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam using moment area method. The span of the beam is given as 8 meter. We have uniformly distributed load 64 kN per meter. It acts for a distance of 3 meter. It starts at a distance of 2 meter from the left support and it ends at the distance of 5 meter from the left support. In this problem, to find the moments in the points A and B, we are going to use the moment area method. In the moment area method, first we have to convert this fixed beam into a simply supported beam. You can see that I have converted the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. In this beam, we have to find the reactions Ra and Rb. First, let us find Ra. For that, let us take a moment about to B. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8, so 8 Ra. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. Then we have to open a bracket. We have to divide the distance by 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance that is 3. For Ra we will get 108 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find Rb. Ra and Rb are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. The uniformly distributed load is acting downwards, so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. For Rb, we will get 84 kN. Now, for the simply supported beam, let us draw the bending moment diagram. To find the ordinate under the point C, we have to multiply Ra with the distance 2, 108 into 2, we will get 216. To find the ordinate under the point D, we have to multiply Rb with the distance 3, 84 into 3, we will get 252. This bending moment diagram is called mu diagram. In this diagram, there are three different parts. There are two triangles and then we have a parabola. Let us keep the first triangle as 1, the parabolic portion as 2 and the second triangle as 3. Now let us find area 1. We know that it is a triangle. We know the formula to find the area of a triangle half into bh. Here the breadth is 2 and the height is 216. We can eliminate 2. So for the area 1 we will get 216. Now let us find area 1 x1 bar. Area 1 we already know 216. Let us apply that. Let us find x1 bar. For this triangle the centroid distance towards the left is 2 upon 3 into breadth. Here the breadth is 2, so x1 bar is 2 upon 3 into 2. For area 1 x1 bar, we will get 288. Now we are going to find area 2. We know that this parabola is irregular, so it is very difficult to use the formula and find the area. In this case, we can do integration and find the area very easily. For that, in the portion where uniformly distributed load is acting, we have to make a section. You can see that I have made a section xx at a distance of x from the point A. In this section, we have to find the moment. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For this load, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 2. We know that with the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and distance by 2. 
64 upon 2, we will get 32. x minus 2 into x minus 2, we will get x minus 2 the whole square. To find area 2, we have to integrate mxx. The limit for the integration is 2 to 5. Now we can take a calculator and do this integration. If you do not know how to do integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator for area 2. I have got 846. Now let us find area 2 x2 bar about the point A. For this also we have to do the integration. But there is only one difference. With the mxx, we have to multiply x. For area 2, x bar 2, we will get 2988. Now let us find area 3. We know that it is a triangle. We know the formula to find the area half into bh. Here the breadth is 3 and the height is 252. For area 3, we will get 378. Now let us find area 3 x bar 3. We have already found area 3. Let us apply that. Only we have to find x bar 3. For this triangle, the centroid towards the left is 1 by 3 into breadth. Here the breadth is 3. So 1 by 3 into 3. But we are finding the centroid about the point A. So we have to add the remaining distance. 3 plus 2, so it will be 5. For area 3, x bar 3, we will get 2268. Now let us find the area of mu diagram. For that, we have to add these three values. After adding, we will get 1440. Now let us find the moment of mu diagram area. For that, we have to add these three values. After adding, we will get 5544. Now let us draw the mu dash diagram. The uniformly distributed load is nearer to the point A when compared with the point B. So MA will be greater than MB. Now let us see how to find the centroid and area of this diagram. Let us consider a trapezoid having the sides as A and B and having the span as L. The formula to find the centroid distance towards the left is L upon 3 into A plus 2B upon A plus B and the formula to find the area is L upon 2 into A plus B. We have just seen the formula to find the centroid distance towards the left side. Let us apply the values in this formula. Here A is MA, B is MB and L is 8. So using this formula, we can get the centroid distance towards the left side. Now using this formula, let us find the area. L is 8, A is MA and B is MB. For the area of mu dash diagram, we will get 4 into MA plus MB. Now let us find the moment of mu dash diagram area. For that with the centroid distance, we have to multiply the area. We can eliminate MA plus MB. 4 into 8, we will get 32. So for the moment of mu dash diagram area, we will get 32 upon 3 into MA plus 2MB. Now let us equate area of mu diagram and area of mu dash diagram. When we do that, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 1. Then let us equate moment of mu diagram area and moment of mu dash diagram area. When we do that, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 2. Now there are two equations. We can take a calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator. For MA, I have got 200.25.
and for MB I have got 159.75 we have found both of the end moments now we are going to find the vertical reactions first let us find the vertical reaction or A for that let us take a moment about to B this moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it will be negative or A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8 so 8 or A this uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3 then we have to open a bracket we have to divide the distance by 2 then we have to add the remaining distance that is 3 this movement is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive finally for RA we will get 113.0625 now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find RB RA and RB are acting upwards so both of them are positive the uniformly distributed load is acting downwards so it will be negative and the distance is 3 for RB we will get 78.9375 now let us find the shear force values I am going to find the shear force values from the point A in this case we have to follow right hand side rule upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative using the rule we can find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram in this point the shear force becomes zero in this point there will be maximum positive bending moment in this point let us make a section and find the distance you can see that in that point i have made a section at a distance of x from the point a in this point let us find the shear force VA is acting upwards so that it will be positive the UDL is acting downwards so it will be negative for the UDL we have to take this distance this distance is X minus 2 in this way we can find X for X we will get 3.77 meter now let us find the maximum positive bending moment MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative the reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.77 the uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3.77 minus 2 so that it will be 1.77 for the maximum positive bending moment we will get 125.74 let us find the bending moment in the point A in the point A we have MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative let us find the bending moment in the point C MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. BA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. For the bending moment at C, we will get 25.87. To find the bending moments in the points B and D, we can use the left hand side rule because it will be easy. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB, which is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Now, let us find the bending moment in the point D. MB is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. The vertical reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be positive and the distance is 3 for the bending moment at D we will get 77.06 here you can see the bending moment diagram in these two points the bending moment becomes 0 
we can make sections in these two points and to find the distances you can see that i have made two sections the first section at a distance of x from the point a and the second section at a distance of x from the point b to find this value of x we can use the right hand side rule using the right hand side rule we can take a moment about the section finally for x we will get 1.77 using left hand side rule we can find the value of x for x we will get 2.02 meter let us apply both of them now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video